Introducing the brand new 25th anniversary Unity Double Deck Box. Holographic design inside and out. And made with premium leather. Each deck box includes three leather dividers, one metal field center, and one TSX-1 attribute dice. Get your limited deck box now at TSX1.com. Ladies and gentlemen, the brand new Bandless April 2024 Bandless just dropped on our head tops today. Well, you guys are watching this video. It's, it's, it's the next day. It's Sunday. So, ladies and gents, happy Sunday. And today, I got you guys two of the biggest doofus on the planet. We got Nash. Nash, hello? Nash? Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, okay, Nash. How you doing? Uh, yo, we're good. You know, like, we missed you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the worst branded player on the planet. That's why we have to have you on the channel. So we got Nash What's and Pop. What's going on, y'all? Guys, listen. Can you guys give us a name, please? The Musketeers or what? Like the, the comment with the most likes and we're going to call ourselves like that. Yeah, why not, guys? Because, you know, mm. every Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG discussion, we got to have these two on with your boy. And in today's video, we're going to go over the cards that are at no longer on the list. Semi-limited. Limited. And, of course, banned. Guys, we already know the ban list, right? Ladies and gents, Pac, you saw the ban list already? Bro, I saw the ban list and it dropped right when I was at the regional. It was kind of crazy. Crazy, right? And like, how, how was everybody's reaction? What do you think? Bro, people at my, people started leaving the venue. They're like, bro, I don't want to play no more. <laughs> <laughs> Nash, how about you? Did you see the ban list? I mean, I was live on Twitch when I like when the ban list dropped. A guy in the chat was like, you Nash, the ban list dropped. Like, I was like, I'm going to ban your ass so fast that light speed might be like a turtle to you. <laughs> and like, it was not a joke, and now he's a VIP in my chat. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about everything ban list today. Talking about the best decks, potentially the hits, what it means for the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG moving forward 2024, and uh, the biggest winners and losers, and go over the top five best decks. Uh, in today's discussion video. Pac, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's run it. Baby. Nesh, 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 oh, are you ready? I'm always ready. But before we begin, this video is brought to you by Supreme Pro. If you have not gotten these packs of Supreme Pros yet, you have to get them now. They're currently on sale and they sell out fast, guys. So use pack 10 if you haven't already. Get 10% off for honestly the best sleeves in the game. It's not even close. I personally use these. All the pros use these as well um, for the regionals, their YCSs, even locals. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, they feel great. Um, so if you guys haven't gotten the chance to, you know, try them out yet, then definitely do. Ladies and gents, the brand new Bonds and Unity Collection is now live on TX1.com. And Pac, did you know your coupon code, Pac10, actually works on this deck box as well? Yes, guys, this is a limited time offer, guys. You know, Sam doesn't really do these uh, sales often on his deck box because they be selling out like hotcakes, you know what I'm saying? So you guys got to get them now. Use the Pac10, get the crazy Unity set. Guys, Pac-10, 10% 10 off, and a huge shout out to Supreme Pro for sponsoring today's video, TX1.com. All right, guys, let's get started with the no longer on the list section, Destiny Hero Malicious. Yeah, I think so. Malicious was a three. I think that's like fine. I just like, I don't think it's necessarily going to be a bad thing, but I am concerned that, um, you know, Malicious is like one of the main, you know, engine requirements or cars that go into beatrice and beatrice is like one of the main cars that promote like floodgates um mm. and like non-interactivity with mm. like rollback and like you know mayakachi traps and whatever so mm. i think that's gonna be kind of concerning but i think what well, i think malicious is fine oh, i know nesh, we got hard three now nesh is probably like happy about that <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, I think Arporor is kind of a break if you think about it in terms of starters of the deck. Um, like, in order to make Arporor an actually good card, you will have to play extenders uh, and then commit Arporor as a normal summon. Feels kind of weird. I would still probably like. I would still probably play it at two, possibly. Mm. I don't feel like like the uh, the three off is gonna be a lot of play. Uh, actually, someone might actually just take it at one because I think at one is totally fine. True, uh, true. Regarding Malicious, I do share the same feeling. I think a card that can easily uh, cheat out a Beatrice can be potentially very dangerous. Um, and like i think also like the only deck that right now it's on top of my mind that would abuse of this strategy would be tier elements and tier elements is already cropped so like at that point are we scared about it and for the hero enjoyer they got the third of yeah so it's a yeah win -win, yeah no matter what. yeah so like you, you guys are just forgetting about heroes or what like you guys aren't talking about the deck 
What's going on? I literally, <laughs> I literally mentioned it. Bows. Uh, wait, what, you, what were you say? You say euros. Say euros. Euros. I, I thought you said euros. 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 <laughs> euros. <laughs> Yo, honestly, bro, I think this card is good for euros, man. You know what I'm saying? A, thir a, a, thir a third extender, why not? You know, with Denier, that means we got four malicious delicious now, ladies and gents. All the hero players out there, this card's insane, bro. Maybe, you know, like, what like what do they play D draws in their deck now? What do you think? Bro, D draw is a crazy card. I love Yo, that bro, card. Bro, stop but... smoking copium, my, my bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, Alerts is better. Alerts is basically D draw in like 2024. Okay. It's better, it's better D draw. All right, Terra Top, what do you think? What do you think? Terra Top, quickly. What do you think? Is okay, I. Okay, Terra Top is an access standard. Uh, it it what, can be. And what? In Goblin Riders Dash? Are you trolling? Yeah, it's in Goblin like, Riders. Like, <laughs> Goblin Riders. Riders. I, I was actually <laughs> going to mention Goblin Riders. <laughs> I was actually going to mention it. Yo, bro, stop being knowledgeable about the game. Yo, what's up? Come on, fam. Come on. You think, you think I've been doing nothing? You think the past eight hours in the car while I was driving back home to record this video? You think I was just like, you know, driving by my, you know, like being brain dead? Come on, fam. All right. I'm mean, grinding. Terra Top, I guess, is great for Goblin Riders. You know what I'm saying? Could Nesh yeah. be riding them Goblins, you know? Yo. <laughs> yeah, yo, oh, yo, yo. Goblin on the Goblin. You hella weird, yo. my bro. You think you hot or, hella or weird. Or Nesh been yeah. Goblin on the Goblin. <laughs> uh, but honestly, yo, be real talk, though. It's, wait, wait. Speaking engage. of Goblin Riders, yeah. we'll talk about this in the semi-limited. But, you know, spoilers. Like, you know, Goblin Riders might not be a bad tech in the side deck i'm just saying hypothetically <laughs> okay like, right. i mean we'll talk I about we'll talk about that when we get to some limit okay oh, all right okay God. last but not all right guys last but not least we got engage what do you guys think about engage this cards what do you think oh raise my bay hey yo hold up yo yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, val take that out <laughs> <laughs> Please. it is a very powerful card it is still a very powerful card that can be mixed with different engines yeah uh my main concern is not about it being in like um a sky striker deck my main concern is the fact that you can actually play a striker version of the snake eye deck uh, that was actually popular at the start all right guys set my limit we got armageddon Knight and pearly delicious memory real quick thoughts on armageddon Knight. uh going to okay. three pop. bro like a soda is banned famo like well you well, like omar said what mally great thanks <laughs> like, <laughs> doesn't I mean, do they just they just gave up my get on nights to the orcus to bozos oh yeah so, that's, like, yeah, that's it's true just, it's, just, it's just orcus bozos have an additional starter yeah oh great one in like one veil, one emperor, man. Like, so I got your back, Orcus the Bottles. I got your back. And then next, pearly delicious memory. This card is looking insane, Pac. What do you think, bro? The semi lit, bro. This shit's broken. <laughs> like I am a pearly enthusiast. Yes. And uh, and uh, I'm 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 a enjoyer of the cats. And honestly, the extra memory having ten spells, and having one extra spell to hit off uh pearl uh pearly the white cat. Yeah. Is absolutely insane. Like people don't understand that like. I was bricking with max out names and stuff with three pot. And so like the extra name is insane because it gets, it makes it so you're more likely to hit. And there are like special OTK lines that comes up with two delicious memories that you cannot do with one. Mm. Um, and you're able to now OTK on empty boards because of the field spell. We'll be able to attach another delicious at end phase. Mm. So you can make the cat really, really fat. And like, I think like now they cannot just uh pass to a big noir they have to actually you you will force your opponent to play the game mm -hmm. um or else they will get otk uh so i think it's really really insane to be honest with you and that's why i we talked about goblin rise a little bit earlier goblin rise that might not be a bad side deck tech against uh pearly you know with hero of the abyss as well so mm -hmm. definitely definitely prepare for this because i think if this egg is under the radar it's one of those eggs that can definitely uh, catch a lot of people by storm. Okay, Puck, you play Sword Soul. Protoss, what do you think? This card is insane, no? Locking fire, call fire, what do you think? Bro, like, like it's legitimately disgusting, um, like, Pro what Protoss does. And I think, like, it's funny because I think they're heading in a direction where they're trying to, like, hit more floodgates, right? As we saw, like, the limit of rivalry in the last limited list. Yeah. Um, you know, and they're trying to, like, limit other floodgates as well, but... They're printing out like a searchable floodgate monster, boss monster. So I don't know. Like, I think that's a little bit concerning in my opinion. Um, but bro, Protos is insane. Like, I actually am really happy they put it at one and not three, by the way, because uh, I'm actually a big three Protos type of guy. Uh, mm. In Master Duel, uh, when I was testing out Sword Soul, yeah, you uh, this was something, something that I didn't think about during source of format but if i were to go back i would definitely play three protos like it didn't make sense why we played one like it actually didn't make sense because like uh when you played a lot of hand traps you put a lot of different attributes in the grave for protos mm. like uh random fires off ash valor uh mm. mourners of wind mm. uh right so 
uh you're like protos is like a really really absurd card um especially against like dark centric decks light centric decks um and then it's really easy to call fire because uh sorcerer deck has access to shaman of the tenyu which is the fire monster so mm. it's it's definitely it's gonna be crazy any opinions on title nash uh title like the only thing that like might be concerned about the release of Tidal would be the mermail combo that's not really a thing so <laughs> no there is no very like there is no deep thoughts about Tidal to be honest Tidal and Dragoon response and now we we have to go on the hot topic of the day uh, because it's not only Protoss we got out of it's the band Colossus. Colossus Colossus is crazy the thing about Colossus and Protoss are that they are actually cheatable using the Arch Nemesis archetype. Mm. Uh, it's actually Corridor. It's the only way to actually kill it out very easily because I like I searched every Thunder monster and the only good one is Corridor. Yeah, Corridor searching off Cupid Pitch, no? Yeah, you can yeah. go Cupid Pitch and then you can add the Corridor and then like you have access to Colossus. Mm. And that's a manadium combo, actually. Like, you can actually chill it out in manadium. Like, there are maybe also the decks that can do it that I don't have right now on top of my head, but those are basically piles at the end mm. of the day. Okay, next card. Match okay, let's go to Google. Matches with Kieran. Kieran, what do you think about Kieran, guys? <clears throat> the, the, the other pen lovers out there. This card's broken. Um, I love it. I love it. I love this card. I love, I love I this card. Like, I think it's deserved. Uh, I think Kieran was for a long time in the ban list and it finally got released. Yeah, I think the Magic Spectre deck has now another layer of interruption, and I like the fact that they banned um, an Omni Negation in order to give us access to Kirin, because now the Pendulum deck strategy is kind of switching. Like the, the Konami is trying to end on interruption that don't stop your opponent uh, uh, effect activation but they actually just interact uh, in a different way, like bouncing, like setting a monster. And I think that's healthy for, for the game because that mm. like it generates counterplay and generates like new lines yes, yes, that yes. I actually love. Uh, yes, yes. No, I love that. I agree, I agree. Uh, next Ooh. next chicken game, what do you think? This card being out of one, Bro, this, do, do you think it changes anything? It's insane. It's insane? It How, come? How come? How no, come? It's broken. How come? Because it's a it's an upstart goblin that turns on set rotation, and we know that fuel spells are going to be very prevalent in the upcoming format with uh, archetypes such as gimmick puppet tenpai. Oh, right, their yeah. fuel spells are literally like crack cocaine. Like they're like it literally says your opponent cannot respond. Like no GG miscellaneous source for the whole board. Right. Wow. Yeah, you're so right. So the fact that like now you get a second field spell that's playable with set row means that you have five copies of the most broken cards in your deck. Mm. And if you draw a chicken's game. Sure, upstart goblin, and that's never a bad thing. Right? I so. totally agree with wow. that take. Wow, and I like that. I'd be liking that she can spicy and tender. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, there's another reason too. Oh, it's what, uh, what, it makes so that if people main deck set rotation, it's absolutely insane against yes, Fire King. You get another like, target for, because there are yeah. not good field spell in like there yes. are not generic one. If that wait, makes sense. Yeah. Wait, what? So so you can you can go second to the fire king board activate set rotation give them uh give them like whatever you're playing let's say like pearly street yeah. you set chicken game to your field and then it triggers uh the fire king to nuke their whole board oh wow GG. it's a first all right and the next is anti star fragrance i guess konami's doing this trend where they're just hitting all the floodgates you know and they're promoting like a way yeah. healthier game i definitely agree with this as well yeah. also you know it makes sense with uh you know with the limit uh with the limit of kieran with anti spell going to one is actually pretty crazy as well. So kind of promotes like, you know, more pendulum players, I guess. You know, like that. The, Wait, pen, the, is, is pen the best deck now or what? Like anti spell to one, I don't know. Bro, ask Steven, bro. Don't bro. convince those people that pen is the best deck. The deck is very good <laughs> when it goes first. No, pen's nah, best deck. You're going to struggle a lot when you go second. No, what like, do you mean? Imagine, a flambe, like, imagine being I in a top like? cut and your opponent knows that you're playing pendulum. What do you mean? Flambe's what do you effect? mean? What's up? What What's do you mean, up? bro? Flamber Beyond the pendulum. Effect. Beyond the pendulum. What's Destroy. Up? Beyond the pendulum. Destroy. No, 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 Sam. You know, you know. So, like, let's say, let's say I'm going first. It's top sixteen. I find out you're on pendulum. I go, I go. You know what I do, right? What do you do? I go, I go. Flambridge effect. Put something in your spawn trap zone. And <laughs> far left or far right. <laughs> <laughs> so you can play end traps in pendulum. You will have to play board breaker approach. Yeah. That's about it. All right. Now off to the band section. We got. Link Karibo, Baron the Fleur, Borlo Savage Dragon, and Summon Limit. Let's get things out of the way. Summon Limit was absolutely toxic. That card on top yeah. of yours. It's like it's like basically how I looked at Summon Limit, guys, was like when you play Master Duel and you and your opponent has the end board that you think that you can that if you think that you can break, but they have maxi. 
Yeah, literally, it's I like, yeah, that. they have some limit. It's literally back C on top of the ring before it's so it's, it's literally the same. It's, it's literally the same. And also, yeah. Borlo, Savage, and Bear on the floor. Um, Pac, I swear, like, we predicted this, right? I'm not sure in, in, in which bro. video, but, like, I think you I, th I think you predicted this. That was going to hit. I did, bro. Look, I, I told everyone, I'm like, bro, like, I think the direction of the game is they're trying to hit the Omni Negates. Like, bro, like, any on Omni Negates is never fun. It's because, like, they say, because a lot of decks right now have, like, two pushes. If you look yeah. at, like, Snake Eye, they have two pushes. Snake Eye Ash, which, mm -hmm. normal an Ash, you know, like, yes. Negate. I feel which mm -hmm. negate. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just that it, it's very limiting to like what you're forced to do. And it also forces your uh, the people to play hand traps. Like when types of cards like Baron and Savage in the game, because like if they try to play like board breakers, it's so hard to board break when your opponent's Omni negates. Right? Yeah, exactly. So I actually think like hitting those cards is really. And, and by the way, Baron the Fleur is like as generic as a Nightmare Phoenix. I don't think people realize that. That card has been made in like almost every good deck in like the past like two years. It's like yeah. literally like a staple. That. It's true. It's true. It's literally Nightmare Phoenix. Like it's not as it's not like hard to make by any means. It's true. Honestly, like like think about it now. Uh, pre pre banning of Crystal Hockey Fibrax, every deck makes Crystal Hockey Fibrax. You either go into TG Wonder Magician or Formula into Baron, anyways. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. remember, remember you yeah. had uh, like need Needle Fiber, Hockey Fibrax, tag onto Wonder yeah. Magician and Wonder Magician and Scythe make Baron. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. every combo, every combo ends on Baron. You know, so I think this. Yeah. So yeah, I think Baron was definitely a good. And hit. another thing too to keep in mind is that like Baron was one of the main extra cards that insulated a lot of like decks. Um, it was like basically the play around in the sense that like if you if your deck had a way to make Baron, we always try to figure out if we could make it prior to like you know play around Nib and stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. It was just like one of those cards that insulated you from other interactions. And if you did have to burn a Baron Negate on your turn, it tagged out into an interaction on your opponent's turn as well. Yeah. Like it was just like like one of the best cards ever. It was not only a form of interaction, but it was also a form of recovery. Like it was like crazy. That card was so insane. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And also there is the fact about Baron the Flat, the fact that it has synergy with cards like SP. Because SP can yeah. manage the Baron in your opponent turn and reset. Yeah, yeah. said it. You're Same right. thing with Zelantis, right? right? The Zelant Zelantis line. Yes, I was just gonna say that as well. <laughs> and I think yeah. like the fact that you are able to reset an Omni negation is kind of unfair because like the deck, like the cards works very well. And also, if your opponent utilizes Ash Blossom and you have a Witch in your hand, you can go for an Ita line in order to special yeah. summon your opponent Ash, and you can make Baron. So like there are yep. many ways in order to accomplish it or if you have an ash blossom in your graveyard you can make a princess to reborn the ash blossom get rid of the princess somehow and then link it away for baron the, and then like if uh, synchro summon using the ash rebond by the princess and then like all right boys uh, the 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 diabella is starting to go into baron all right boys so can we all agree that omni gates was toxic for the game can we all agree can we all agree? I, yes. I do agree on the most part, except for that poor little boy, the boy little Savage Dragon. Oh, okay. I do agree on I do agree on Baron the Fleur. Okay. But why it's yeah. Dragon Link like that? I think if you only had Savage, probably like I don't even I'm I'm not, I'm not even sure if you would play actually Savage in your extra like if you only had Savage. You would, because you always made the Ash Witch combo line always made Savage first. And then potentially tagging a bear on your opponent's turn. Yeah. So you know you, what you would do, right? By the way, just Nash, another synchro would, turn. Just like yeah. you, you just play like a Chen Ying. It's like so yeah. fine. It's like fine. Yeah, play I mean, Chen just, Ying, uh... um, and then like maybe like you play like uh, I don't know, like you play SP, and then you SP effect would trigger Chen Ying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like there's so many things you could do. Obviously, moving on into the next and upcoming format for the April 15, 2024 format. Obviously, we saw Snake Pure Snake Eyes and Fire King Snake Eyes dominate the previous format by a landslide. The way that, you know, I, I would say, you know, Pac, the, the way that YCS Las Vegas kind of like shaped the entire format, the rest of the format moving yeah. forward for Pier Snake Eyes to dominate yep. every single event. Now, obviously the whole Pier deck focused on making Baron, making Savage, even the slight hit with Link Karibo, right? What are your stance on Pier Snake Eyes now? like? What are your guys' thoughts? <clears throat> like, do you think pure snake guys are still gonna be number one? Or do you guys think this gives the opportunity for decks like Fire King Snake Eye to creep up from under the shadows to take over the number one spot? 
What are your guys' thoughts on that? I mean, if you think about it, the Fire King Snake Eye and the Pure Snake Eye, uh, they are pretty much almost the same deck. They mm-hmm. have the same amount of starters. No, no, they no, just not really. Different. No, not really. One loses the draw, the other the, one doesn't. You know what I'm saying? It depends which combo you're going for. <laughs> so, like, there are some combos that lose to draw. Like, for example, like if you go for the Abella Star Original and you special summon Ash and you add yeah. Onyx, yes, you lose to draw, obviously. There. Okay. But there are other combos that also involve the, uh, the presence of the field spell of Snake Eye in the deck. Yes. That, in my opinion, is necessary in the Fire King Snake Eye deck that True. plays around draw the luck, but that I'm expecting <clears throat> way more right now, which yeah. means that you're going to go way more for that kind of line the, in order to prevent the draw the lock bar to happen uh, I think they are kind of similar uh, in a sense that they both did it really, really well during Wises like if you think about it right in Las Vegas what one 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 snake eye and two fire king yeah uh, then we got the Wises the pack one with like snake eye like the entire team was a snake eye then we got another Wises Christian Urena recently one with snake eye snake eye got more wins but like, but like, Fire King was following right back. I think that there's gonna be a lot of room for innovation. Um, mm. I think that the format's gonna be shaped up to be a pretty diverse one. Mm. Not necessarily gonna be a bad thing. I think people take that like, you know, I, I made a tweet saying that I don't really care if it's Series Zero format. Like, I don't really care what format it is. For me, yeah. I just care about playing good Yu-Gi-Oh. That's right? facts, and, facts. Um, at the end of the day, for me, I think that this is a great time to really test um, a really big component in the game which is deck building i think that mm-hmm. um after wise's vegas there wasn't really any innovation in any deck list like yeah, exactly. if you looked at uh coast like if you looked at not costa rica sorry um if you looked at colombia you look at australia everyone played the exact same deck mm. by the way so so the emphasis to perform uh was on technical play playing well right yeah and that now sure. that we we have a lot of shift. I think there's gonna be a big shift now where we're gonna test a different part of the brain, which is gonna be how can we deck build. Um, and I think that's really exciting for me. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, and I think that in terms of the best deck, I don't, I think like you could make an argument to say Fire King Snake Eye is the best deck. I think that's what yeah. um, you would naturally say, but I don't know if that's true because the best deck might not always be the best choice, right? To play. Yeah. Um, and so I think it might be a strong deck, I might, I, but I don't necessarily think it's necessarily the best deck to play yet. Also, I think there is like, a, like people got in, into a very weird approach with this Fire King uh, Snake Eye or Snake Eye in general, in my opinion. Like I noticed that there were way more hate for the Snake Eye than Tier Elements. In my opinion, if you compare Tier Element Full Power against Snake Eye Full Power, Tier Element beats Snake Eye 10 I think the Snake Eye, like as an engine, has a lot of potential, can be splashed in different variants. Obviously, I can understand that the price of certain cards like Bonfire can be very expensive for a lot of players. And like, I do share the same feeling uh, and I'm with you guys. But like, I think this meta is not as bad as people thought, to be honest. Like there mm. are other decks like Tempai Dragon that are gonna come up soon. Yeah. That in my opinion, that's gonna be like a bigger issue. If you guys are huge fans of like Snake Eyes, Pure Version, or the Fire King, or playing Synchros, there's different alternatives to Baron. Obviously there's not gonna be crazier cards like to, in comparison to Baron, but Cheng Yin can be a good option, right, guys? Cheng Yin. Yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly. there are, I mean, just, right. just go on right. Synchro 10. Synchro 10s. And see. The, yeah, there's yeah. also like, what is it? Like, uh, instead of Savage, there's, you know, great generic rank eights like Berserker. There might be even just Omega as well. And yeah. another substitution for Link Rebo is, is Relinquish Anima as well. So, yeah. you know, just don't, you know, don't, don't drop the mantle real quick. You know, like, don't. Don't drop your Snake Eye mantle just yet. Like, what are your thoughts on like people were saying like Snake Eyes didn't get hit, or like you know, or like what like why isn't Wanted hit? Why isn't Witch hit? Why isn't Ash hit? I think I have a reasonable response about why Wanted was not hit. Why? Why wasn't Wanted hit? Because they didn't want it. Uh, I think this ban list uh, was was good. It was, was good. good. But was it better than last? Something missing. There, 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 there is something missing. Was like, it better than example, last? No, I mean, I think, I think the last one was like the, the, the last one is the one with twenty-five, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I like it that more, to be honest. Okay. Like that change, that sh- that change an entire format. Okay. I like that more, to be honest. What was the issue with, was with like, this? This issue, it's it's not about what's in the ban list. It's about what is missing from the this ban list. I think, I think if they did really want to eat Snake Eye, uh, and they did want to eat the extra deck, I think Apollosa is much more of a threat than people think because yeah. Apollosa is how you play constantly around the Nibiru. Apollosa is also a negation. Uh, Apollosa can be used in different decks that spam body, and Snake Eye is basically be- the best one, and that's why Apollosa was basically the primary choice. Not yet, right? not yet, bro, not yet, bro. They have to sell the uh, Rarity Collection too, bro. Come on now, Nesh. No, I get it, I get it. Come I get on, it, I get it. not I, yet, I, I, Nesh. Do you see yeah. the patterns? Yeah, Savage so got the Rarity bump. Baron, I see the pattern. Baron got the ba- the Rarity bump. Someone let me got the Rarity bumps, you know what I'm saying? And then yeah, they got to hit it first, you know? Rarity bump, then they got hit. The biggest thing in the limited section, you guys got to say for sure it has to be Thunder Dragon Colossus, right? You know, they say in 2013 no more, you know what I'm saying? The Dragon Rulers mm-hmm. are definitely outclassed for sure. Yeah. But bringing Thunder Dragon Colossus back in a format where like, yo, everything just relies on searching. I think this card would definitely be like a huge highlight to what the format is going to be coming up to. Do you guys agree with that? Yes, I can see I that. agree. And also by unbanding Colossus, maybe Konami <laughs> might actually try to release uh new thunder stuff who knows yeah new, maybe yeah. konami is trying to tell us something why now yeah why now why now that in my opinion like it's still at, like in, now it's even more a threat than the previous ban list to be honest all these like trap floodgates are getting hit but all these like monster floodgates are coming back yeah, yeah. exactly and the thing is like the monster ones are easily be accessible like dude these traps are like you, you just gotta like draw them it's really like draw it you know yeah but like bro like these uh these monsters are like sure protos are one of but that doesn't mean anything they're it's completely searchable in like 20 different combo lines for sword soul yeah a uh, protos i mean and a colossus is like bro like it all it takes is one thunder monster in the hand to summon it you know what i'm saying yeah that is true that is true honestly think about it now like it's scary like you know like what's three engaged uh, thunder dragon colossus right pop nash what do you guys think top five best decks off the top of your head what do you think I think cool. Saying I fire king without a doubt, right? You can make yeah. argument for that. So number no, one, I think. Um, I, think I also think voices. Like I don't know. No, no one's not a lot of people talking about. It, but that that deck didn't get hit at all, and it's, yeah. it's consistent. It's like solid. It's it's safe mid range. Okay, so the main issue that I have with voiceless is the fact that voiceless plays very well around the entrops. Yep. Except for the roll, I guess, because it plays very well around the Veiler, Impermanent, Smorner, uh, Nibiru, Ash. Like it, it actually has enough extender in order to push through. Yep. Uh, my main concern about Voiceless is the board breaker approach that people might possibly take without Baron and Savage. Yeah. Because the deck hard loses to Droplet. The deck has Tactics. hard times against cards like Talent. And yeah. that might be maybe so problematic that I might actually not consider it in the top five. Wow. Damn. Mm. Damn. Okay, okay. Branded is going to be insane. And Pac, I guess you were going to say it as well. At least like the third deck um, for sure. Third deck branded, hey? Yeah, branded. Like Brand, Brand, Brandon is nice. Yeah, I think it's solid. Obviously, didn't get hit. Like, uh, there's puppet lock and all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But I think um, I think Brandon can be fire. Yeah, it could be it could be a really solid pick. I think the thing that I would caution a lot of duelists on is that like it's a very easy deck to get into. Like, it's not hard to activate Brandon Fusion. It's hard to know what to do after the fact. Yeah, that's, uh, that's I literally yeah. what I was. That's literally what I was yeah. saying. Brand Fusion gives you so many options, and there are ten like ten, ten incorrect options, and yeah. one that wins you the game. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, bro, I would advise Nash as well. You know, like Nash. You know, like if you need help <laughs> with Branded, I can definitely teach you, bro. Because sometimes, you know, like at one time I saw you play Branded, and you just didn't want to play Brandon Fusion for some reason. You just like you know, let's play Brandonless Brandon Fusion. You know, let's play Brandon Fusionless Brandon. I hate him so. You know, so like, so like, ah, he's, so, so he's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he so, has a point, Nash. Yeah, Nash. You know, if you need help, you know, with Brandon, I can, I can teach you. Because you know, Nash, guys, the one thing I want you guys to learn about Nash is that you don't even have to pretend you have Ash. He'll just pretend. He'll he'll he'll, he'll play it like you don't have like you have Ash. You know, like he he'll he'll Ash himself for you. Don't worry. You know. Even even if you don't have Ash, no, the fourth best deck, <laughs> the, for the fourth best deck, Pac. What do you think? Thunder Dragons um, or what? Oh, no, I actually, think, Volcanics. Uh, what? When we were talking about Volcanics during like the previous, you know, like uh, format analysis, I guess. Yes. I thought it was better than it actually was. Oh. Um, <laughs> because because then you see a couple of shells in your hand. 
and you realize that you committed a mistake because you bought an entire volcanic core and about three of them. Oh, so this was also, a, oh, so this was a personal <laughs> issue. No, no, no. It's actually no. I actually thought the deck was good. Oh. Like I actually thought the deck was good, and I tested it, and like, yeah. And then I didn't even make a video about it, and then mm -hmm. I had all the Sam viewers coming on my, like you know, it's Twitch like how... or YouTube, and say, Yo, Nash, when are you gonna release Vulcanic? You said that you wanna post Vulcanic, guys. If I'm not posting it, it's us. What okay. do you want me to say? Like, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I was mistaken. I committed, a, like, allegedly, allegedly, I committed a little bit of a mistake. Honestly, Perfect. Nesh, honestly, Nesh, yeah, I think this is the second mistake you made. It's not the first mistake you made. The, fir <laughs> the first mistake is you tell people that you know how to play Brandon, but, um, you know, like, Nesh, I don't, that's the second, you know what? Three, you know, fool me once, shame on, uh, shame on me, fool me twice. You know what I'm saying? But fool me three times, Nesh. Pull the blame on you. You know what I'm saying? Put it for, Nash, for me three times, I think you gotta delete your YouTube channel at this point. You know, you should delete the whole thing. All right, Nash. So, guys. I think I'm gonna do the same thing that Farfa did when he was on Glasgow Yu Gi Oh! Whoa, what did he do? I'm gonna bet it. I mean, did you know that Farfa had like a Glasgow Yu Gi Oh! and then like he lost a bet? I mean, it was not even a bet, it was a duel, a tournament, I think, in oh. which they were betting their YouTube channel. What's the fourth deck? Would you say Manadium? Oh, hell no. No, no, no. no. No, 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 no. I, I think I know what it is. Pearly, kitty cats. Pearly. Yeah, purely, purely, I can see that. Purely, purely I can purely. definitely see that. Okay. So Snake Eye, Fire King, uh, purely and, and branded. Okay. Yep. Pearly has can... the second delicious, so it's gonna be insane. And there's one more deck that y'all not talking about. What is it, Buck? Please. It's so obvious. I know what it is. It's Heroes. Thank you. Dark Law is crazy, crazy. Dark Law, Dark Law lock. Insane two card combos, three malicious, yo, delicious. Yo, Sam, let me know how let me know how much you want for uh, Promethean Princess, the giant card. Like that's what? where you're gonna be playing, right? Like the silence or <laughs> yo. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, guys, don't listen to these fools. All right, heroes are good. Play your play your deck. Have fun with your deck, all right? Don't listen to these losers, all right? Sorry, sorry, Shut anyways. Up, bro. You're gonna be the first person in Yu-Gi-Oh! history to get the trio. Yo, guys, you know, Nash told me, guys, Nash told us that, guys, we have to play around Battle Fader. Wait, what? Nash, Nash. Bro, 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 you, you be smoking. Like, yo, you, you do be guys, smoking. Yo, guys, you know, guys, you guys, let me tell you the real reason why Nash was not on our team for the 3v3 YCS. No, bro. I'm gonna tell you the real, the real bro, reason bro, is because we play tested in real life. He came all over the Vegas and we had to kick him out last minute on Thursday because it took him 10 minutes to normal summon Sting Ash. The truth finally comes out, eh? Okay, the last best uh, deck. What is it, Pac? Sorry, we're sorry, we cut you off. What was the last best deck? Ah, <sighs> all right. I don't want to leak the goo. What's the goo? It's rescue waste. Stop, rescue waste. stop. Wait, wait, what? That, that X is insane, bro. Rescue yeah, ass. Insane, really good. Like insanely breaky. What's up? Rescue ass? Breaky. Yes, bro. Rescue ass is crazy because uh, you force what? your opponent to have board breakers for not only frontline, but also backline. So, like, imagine you're playing against a combo deck, but having to side in storms and dusters. And if you draw, if you don't draw a combination of either or, you're going to lose. I mean, That's to be honest, it's a fire deck. It has Snake Eye. Populous, it has bonfire. I'm not even against it. You're right, true, true, yeah. true. The biggest loser of the, this bad list. We, we, we the, the biggest you loser. loser. No, I'm not a loser, Nesh. Yo, Shut yo, up, loser. yo, how many YCS stops you got? Okay, that's what I say. That's what I say. Uh, YCS stops. Hey, anyways, say YCS to win. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, the biggest loser is Nesh not knowing how to play Brandon. That's number one. Number two, we should say the biggest loser is what? Snake Eyes, right? Pure Snake Eyes. Correct. Yeah, Pierce the guys. Yeah. Pierce the guys, the uh -huh. biggest loser uh, of of the ban list. Link Rebo, Savage, Baron, Hit, uh, the biggest losers. Mm -hmm. uh, all the floodgates enjoyers out there, the ones that like to sit back and relax on the summit limits. Um, honestly, bro, I actually feel bad for the voices voice players. They got a huge hit on the ban list, bro. I feel so bad. I feel so bad for some uh, for, for voiceless, bro. That's that 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 card carried them places. Educate the viewers, the biggest winners. Five kings, bro, like Brandon. Fire King Sing I didn't get touched. Brandon didn't get touched. Uh, Rescuees didn't get touched, but it was never really doing that much anyways. I think Pearly got a huge buff. Um, yeah, and I think like, so you can maybe argue for Sword Soul, but like the thing is like, Please. it lost Baron, which is like one of the big ways to lose the nib. So brother, Sword Soul is literally the new Salaman Great. They end on a new Beetle yeah. token right now. 
All right, guys, this format is about to be absolutely crazy. Tuck in your seat bells and enjoy. Be sure to visit TX1.com. Here were the biggest winners and losers. And uh, we talk about everything bandless here. Look forward to it. And guys, stay tuned this week for a tier list update where we go over the best decks. Literally every best deck for the April mm -hmm. 2024 mm -hmm. format. This is your boy, Sam. From Team Samurai. And Nash. And Pack. From Supreme out. Pro. Signing right. out. All right, guys. Peace.